everybody. This is the best blaster that has probably ever been released from any company for our hobby ever. It's the strongest stock blaster that's ever existed. It's the most accurate stock blaster that's ever existed. It's the best. That's not hyperbole, that is fact. In fact, I've never had a blaster before where after I got done shooting the video, not only did I get a bunch of comments, but I played around with it myself and of course had Luchathor over to take a crack at it to the point where I had to come up with another video just on all the stuff I've discovered about the blaster after the fact. Now, I didn't get an instruction manual or anything with this. This was sent to me by a friend and I really, really appreciate that. And I don't know how much is covered in that manual or if I would have read it to begin with, but there's a lot about the Nexus Pro that you may already know and you definitely don't know. So let's talk about it and these top 10 pro tips for the Nexus Pro. Now, this isn't even a tip, but it's something I want to talk about. The Dart Zone Pro was kind of the whole thing last year that everybody was foaming at the mouth about, and the Nexus Pro is pretty much better in every single way. The fundamental way these blasters work is different, and the Nexus Pro is actually way more efficient and a better blaster all around. This actually has an airtight seal out of the box, while this thing, it's nearly impossible to get an airtight seal with it without doing a complete breech exchange on it, which is not something I want to do when I spent $180 on a blaster. Which honestly means when it comes to modability and future, this thing almost has nothing. This thing has got it all. So if you're a Dark Zone Pro fanboy, well, they'd be happy with your stock one, but the Nexus Pro is going to blow it out of the water. And that brings me to pro tip number one. You may remember in my video, I said I still liked the Cena Model S better because it was easier to take down and swap everything in it. While I may not be able to easily take down this blaster and swap everything, I can swap the one thing that matters, which is the spring. It's actually pathetically simple. Remove the stock and there's one screw located on this end cap right here. And if we remove that, like so, you notice it's still not flying off or anything like that, but if you give it a pretty good twist, pulls off an end cap and you have access to the spring. Better yet, this is the spring that came with the Nexus Pro and this is a stock Cetus spring and they're almost the same type of spring. You will have to do a little bit of sanding on the spring rest right here in order to make it work, but you can actually put in Cita springs inside your Nexus Pro. And honestly, I don't think you even need to put the screw back in there because not only do you have the stock protecting it, but it twists on with two lugs on it that will pretty much prevent it from doing anything. And you get a good performance boost. That was a stock Cita spring. And I went from the, the 150 or so of this thing, 140, 150, to about a 170, 180. And the prime is barely noticeably different. Pro tip number two. Oh no, I just put a stronger spring in there and I don't want to dry fire it, but the breech is locked. It doesn't even matter because the Adventure Force Nexus Pro, you could just shove a mega round inside of it and fire Mega out of it. Which means that an HVZ or something like that, the Adventure Force Nexus Pro can shoot Mega with no modification whatsoever. You literally just shove the dart down the barrel. All right, let's do a Whirlwind Mega. Oh, that one's a little bit tight. <laughs> oh, what else we got in here? An Accustrike Mega. Also, rather tight. Ooh, might be too tight. Didn't have a good enough seal. Well, those don't work very well. Standard Mega. These ones usually work perfectly. <laughs> uh, not accurate, but fun. And we'll try one more AccuStrike Mega. Let's see if we can kind of just Put it in there a little bit. Wow. Okay, don't put them in as far. That was rival range. Pro tip number three. This is actually the same diameter and dimensions as an M4 buffer tube or AR-15 buffer tube. That means if you have one of something like this, this is just a cheapo airsoft battery stock, but any kind of buffer tube stock should work, I imagine. It can fit right on there and still lock into place, which of course will let you customize your blaster to make it a lot more comfortable for yourself, which who doesn't love customization? Speaking of customization, the rails on the Nexus Pro 
are actually Picatinny. So if you have an airsoft or real steel style sight that mounts on Picatinny, you can put it on your Nexus Pro. So there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with that, all sorts of attachments and everything. Next pro tip, the magazine adapter here for short darts. It looks a little bit weird and that's because the adapter out of the box will not only work with the original magazines it came with, but this is a worker talon mag and it feeds perfectly fine. And if that wasn't good enough for you, it will also take the Jet Blaster Katana mags out of the box with zero modification. Meaning if you're already invested in short darts, you don't have to worry. And if you are gonna invest in short darts, even though they don't really sell magazines separate at the moment and the original Dart Zone Pro magazines do not work, unfortunately, that means you have lots of options for what you wanna do, whether 3D printed or the ones from Jet Blaster or Worker. Oh yeah, it'll shoot Mega, and that means it'll shoot Rival too. Perfectly fine with no modification whatsoever. So that's three ammo types right there you don't even have to change anything to use, which is incredible. I can't tell if that was done on purpose or not. And the rival test shot. We'll just wedge that down in there. Not bad. I wonder if we can stick it down even further and get even better performance out of it. I also want to see if we can shotgun it, because of course we have to test to see if we can shotgun it. Wow. It's like a rival, Omega, and Elite Blaster all in one, and it shoots all of them exceptionally well. Let's see if we can two dart shotgun it. That would be hilarious to turn the corner and shotgun your opponent and then follow it up with single shot. So there's two in there. Looks to be the max I could fit. Eh, it kind of works, but not nearly as exciting as I thought it would be. Back to single rival. <laughs> it's perfect. I love this thing. I love it so very, very much. Straight up sniper status. Not getting enough accuracy? Well, the muzzle brake here just kind of pops out and Honestly, it's kind of weird how it does that, and you can kind of see the barrel and everything in there. And there's actually quite a few scar barrels that will fit inside this thing. Now, the only one I really have access to right now is the Monkey Mods Rifling Barrel, which is funny because this is meant to go over the actual barrel, not just in front of it. However, putting this on, not only does it fit perfectly in there, but it shoots. And using these stock darts with the stock spring, I only lost, like, five to six FPS for, for what should be a marginal accuracy improvement. So that's really nice. And I think they said that the worker one will actually work the best for you. But again, no modification whatsoever, except a scar barrel. And here's something that's really cool. There's only four screws that hold the grip on, but the grip is an entirely different piece. And this looks like it could take some kind of 3D printed or even injection molded replacement which gives me all sorts of ideas for cool grip and stock options for the Nexus Pro. I cannot wait until I see something that's like a rifle style grip with like an, a thumb hole stock that slides over this buffer tube. That is going to be incredible and I hope somebody jumps on that soon. And speaking of grips, the front grip here is actually also a Picatinny rail which means if you have any kind of real steel or airsoft grips that attach to Picatinny, the Nexus Pro will also take those, bringing you even more customization. Oh no, the slide on your Adventure Force Nexus Pro, it's got an upgraded spring in it. You wanna deprime it, but you just can't. Well, you can. There is a little button right here that you can press that will release the slide. Didn't even notice it before. Just keeps getting better. Speaking of better, not that the original stock is all that good, but uh, did you realize there's O-rings located in the stock? There's two of them in there, and I assume those are for the pusher breach. If something happens to go wrong, you destroy it. Well, as long as you have the stock on you, you could very easily pop another one on without having to worry about it. In field repair. If only this thing had a screwdriver somewhere in it, so you could take off that screw and swap springs. Or just leave the screw off. 
So I think by now you fully realize how absolutely amazingly good the Dart Zone Nexus Pro is. This blaster is so much better than it really had any right to be. I was never expecting this blaster to do even a quarter of the things it does. Not only is it an awesome blaster out of the box, but it has tons of expandability options and even some 3D printer tinkering that could be done to change it into an absolute monstrosity. And it may be the only blaster you'll ever need. And you know what? There might even be some stuff that I missed. So let me know down in the comment section below what other tips and tricks you may know about this blaster because to be perfectly honest, it does so freaking much, I don't even know where to begin. I really don't. This thing, it's so good and you need to buy one. You need to buy two. Well, that might be excessive because you can just swap the spring out if you want a stronger one or a weaker one. That makes me super happy. But of course, did you already buy an Adventure Force Dart Zone Nexus Pro? Let me know down in that comment section. I'm Walcom7. Thank you very much for watching. Get subscribed because we've got a lot more coming up this next week. Lots of reviews and some really, really cool videos. Not to mention the 100k subscriber special because we're over 100,000 subscribers now. And this is going to be the biggest video that I have ever shot for this channel. I'm expecting it to be nearly an hour long and is going to take me days to edit, but we've got a rad idea to celebrate and we're hopefully filming it this coming weekend. I'm excited. There's so much going on and there's so much good in the hobby. Thank you, Primetime Toys, for this wonderful beast and thank you for watching. You gotta 